let's have a look at the display options. So in the display options, you can have different head positions. So you can have just a fixed head position. So it will just show the expressions in the eye gaze. You can have the head rotation, which will rotate along the neck, but no translation. Or you have a floating head, so it has head rotation and translation. The default, it's on just rotation. Then you can enable or disable the wireframe model. You can enable or disable the video. You can enable or disable seeing the depth map of the 3D sensor. You can enable or disable the 3D model um, of the person of the actor, the personalized expression model. You can enable or disable sh uh, showing these blend shapes, uh, the blend shape coefficients over time. You can have the info on the top, which def determines how far or close you are to the sensor and also the rotation. So ideally, you are always in the green parts of that display. And then you also have animation smoothing. So animation smoothing will smooth the head position as well as the blend shapes over time. So by enabling animation smoothing, you will have a smoother animation, less jitter, but it will not be as crisp. And lastly, you can enable or disable different targets. So these are the targets that come with our little face shift, but you can also import your own via the FBX import and that we will cover in a different tutorial. And AutoCycle enables you to switch between all your targets automatically.